Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to part eight of dating social networking series. And in this video, uh, we are going to do some formatting uh, with our sidebar, and then we are going to create uh, add dating form. And uh, in that form, uh, we are going to add some of the fields like DOB, gender, height, vital status, and we will also add uh, date picker, some date picker for DOB field. So uh, let's start working on it. And you have seen that in last video, uh, what we have done so far, see, uh, we have created this index blade file, that simple blade file we have created and we have created this member login form here and uh, we have also created the register uh, register form see register form new user registration is coming from here we have added captcha we have added exactly to our post uh, and this is the first form registration form after registration uh, after registration we read in step two and in that step two the user is going to add his profile is dating profile so uh, even if user comes out uh, means after registering after registration uh, if user uh, not fill the dating form but next time uh, he can able to log in and then he needs to add his dating form again <coughs> so uh, this is the uh, things uh, we have done so far and you can see here from user table that if we uh, log in then user need to add his dating form i am going to log in here see with the earlier that we have registered see yeah see after login uh, this part has come add dating profile because user automatically reaches to step two okay and the user needs to add his dating profile okay and this part we are going to uh, make it correct some updation is required in this part and that is member login is not up to the mark and this one also some formatting needs to be done not much but we will do and we will start working on the dating profile as well okay so uh, in uh, part eight in part eight of uh, uh, dating series uh, we will uh, do some formatting at the left sidebar after login after user login and uh, then we'll start working on uh, dating form in form that user will add after entering first registration form okay registration form so uh, uh, in first step we are going to update uh, front sidebar okay front sidebar dot blade dot php file we are going to update this file and see first of all we are going to update front sidebar file and uh, uh, we will show everything in a proper manner okay uh, so first of all we will do this step and uh, we'll correct everything okay so let's so i'm going to open front sidebar here okay then i'm going to see okay what needs to be done here here yeah so let's see uh now i'm thinking that uh, we will Take this inside something and check is coming if
okay this is not correct at all i'm going to make some changes here and i'm going to do like this okay because i don't like this kind of layout and so i will convert all this uh, to a matter one because uh, this one is not up to the mark and we are going to remove extra things okay so uh, uh, so i will do like this and i am going to remove uh, other things here see Now see here in place of number login, I am I'm going to add this one here. In place of number login, I will add welcome user here. Okay, so we can update this like uh, I am doing. And form will not come here. We are going to remove this form from here. Okay, fine. And and the message will also not come here. See, we are left with this one. And what is this? This one will not come here at all. We are going to remove. Okay. Now we are left with this one. And Here also, uh, you see extra thing we are going to remove. And this one is not correct. This from here also will not come as part of the what are done, but uh, this logout will require and add a timber file is required in the condition. So we are going to add new class here mm, that we will create so create new class and I leave detail class that. I'm going to write it CSS for the first time. It will of CSS not much. And inside this, I'm going to add another class. Okay. That is the link class. And inside this, I'm going to add this logout code. Yeah, logout code. We can add it. I'm going to move from here. We can add this logo code here and this part we need to move because this part is not required now. Now see our code it is a little bit clear. Okay. This. And see here here I will do one more and here I will do that and data profile. And we already know its path 
this is step two like this okay so some of these css i need to write in uh, layer dot css page here and i will do the copy of the css like uh, done here like this to search um, Getting news, yeah. Here I'm going to do this one. Similar to this one, I'm going to add your case. Okay, I'm going to add here the uh, link detail class that I have added. Here yeah, we will give like the link that we we'll give on here. Link here, yeah, link is fine. The link and here also. We can give like this the link A and here also. Now Got left is fine. Tap align this one. We're going to make it left here as well, and we will now see once uh, the changes we have done. And now I'm going to refresh one. Let's see. It seems to be better. Welcome, Rock. Editing profile logout is also coming, and uh, here also we will give. Some spacing, so uh, we are going to update this one. Okay, so we can give here yeah, 10 pixel, and we can check now. Yeah, it is fine, and uh, we can also give some space. Okay, some space we can give more than left here. In terms of the we can give in front, yeah, it looks better. And now we can give here as well. It's, I think bottom, yeah, it looks even better. See now, uh, links we have under we can rock editing the file logout. Okay, see if we will click on logout, it's logout, and if we are going to log in again, okay, then. You can simply log in with the password. See, it comes back. Okay, now it's fine. So, editing file. Uh, now, uh, these some of the uh, we have done some of the formatting. We need to update the uh, CSS as well as some of the HTML as well. Okay, you see, in the uh, first part of if condition, we check that uh, if the user uh, if the user does not exist means if the auth check is empty means if the auth auth means the uh, it will be given to the user that auth from laravel uh, means you can say session auth uh, from your laravel it is and we are going to check that user is available or not user login or not and if it is not login then we will show member login 
else we will show the user itself and, and then we welcome uh, auth user and you can also debug the auth user if you want to see you can with print or complete auth user you can check that what it is coming inside this one you can do like this print for r then here you can pass this one to see that what's coming in auth auth coming user details coming that you are logging with okay here you will also do like this three like this and you can find that what's coming in auth here see here see what's coming in auth name email password okay these things are coming see rock email as a email name password admin with the token everything comes here so so uh you can get like this information that which thing we want we want name so we have displayed here name okay and uh that is fine that we have done uh then see here and so at the file and logo comes okay so uh we, we have see in video so we have done some formatting for uh for left sidebar sidebar and and updated and css well, well in the uh, layout of css file so css file okay so it comes like this okay that is fine now uh, we are going to continue uh, updating this dating form okay now uh, we will update this file update uh, it is set to dot plate uh, dot php file we are going to update this file now okay so uh, uh, now we will update step to blade file file uh to add dating form okay uh we will add some of the fields like uh you know like uh, date of birth birth uh, gender height and, and marital status for now marital status okay so these fields we are going to add for well, now so uh the same process that i have shown you the sample link go root routine so we can open that link and can follow the same process okay so i'm going to follow this side i have created uh many years back or oh, almost 10 years back i've created this side i'm going to open this side uh, so that we can add it in the file later to that so i am going to update this one step two step two dot plate dot php file okay and in this i'm going to add uh little bit file okay so we are going to do this now Website is full of the errors, and so uh, only follow the thing that we want to work on. Just as uh, just logic, okay. I will give here test under then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then and can add ID, okay. Of age, we are going to use DOB 
because in DOB is the perfect way because age you need to update again and again, but date of birth, from date of birth, we can fetch age itself and we no need to, user no need to update any time. Okay, so we will add DOB that time 10 years back. I am not think that much and we used to add like this silly mistakes we used to do, but now we'll add DOB and gender we will also add, uh, okay, and height we will also add, okay. The height is the main thing that we are ahead. We will copy from here. It's source code and monitor status we will also add. So these forms we are going to add. And for DOB, we will add the date picker. Okay, date picker we will add for the DOB field. Okay, so we are going to do all these kind of things uh, right now. And now I will start updating uh, the step to dot play dot php file that is empty right now and i am going to take help from the uh, register blade file uh, i'm going to copy some of the fields from there so that we can get the format same format okay so uh, i'm going to see here the format that we have used here and we can use the same kind of format here as well okay so uh, i'm going to add this one this one we can see if we can able to add this form again and we'll make changes there and okay the class card body and we don't have anything like this card body is not there card header is also not there so no issue now we will see how it will look here okay let's see how it will look i have no idea okay so let's see how it looks then we can make changes so I think it's not fine. Okay, uh, yeah, form. Form we need to clear off. Uh, the form we have added, we need, we now need to. Uh, this one we need to clear off action right now. Okay, and clear what this and save uh, so now. here okay editing the file but but we will make changes uh, with this field and uh, we will see what we can do okay as well go to see and still here is some defense we will add the class card as well let's see Seems to be true. Mm, because we need to make format like this one. We 
we can simply copy the complete form now like here we can simply copy the complete form and we'll see if it is coming fine or not okay like this we can simply copy the complete form and here i'm going to remove the action and we will see we want the exact same formatting no it is not fine and
we are going to add date picker okay so this date picker we will search on net okay some good date picker we will search okay we can search uh, google like uh, uh, date uh, you can say calendar as well you can say calendar laravel like this we can search okay see and this first one we can open okay and let's see yeah. we are going to implement this one only okay so uh, uh, so we can search uh, date calendar laravel and and open lara cast link uh, link that is this one okay the first one we can uh, we can implement any date picker uh, you just need to add the scripts for it and then you can add that date picker very easily so uh, so uh, i am going to add this date picker now okay so i'm going to add the css i'm going to add the js i'm going to add the script okay so uh, i'm going to update uh, update uh, front design grid file now for a design dot blade dot php file okay uh now we will add script for the date picker so uh, add design design grid file so i'm going to add some of the uh, files here from the okay here i'm going to add okay so uh, these are the file i'm going to add like this okay here and here this one and i'm going to add the jake one we already having but we will add this uh js here and we can add this Date picker as well. Okay, fine. And its ID is date picker. We can convert it to DOB like this. Okay, and because we have given the DOB ID, so we can use DOB here as well. Date picker. And everything seems to be fine. And now uh, we will see the date picker is coming fine or not. We will check once that. DOB, in DOB we have given we have given so I am going to refresh that page and we see that data picker is coming or not see data picker is coming fine okay yeah it's really perfect but uh, now I am going to uh, this autofill autofill autocomplete autocomplete I am going to make it uh, zero or false I think uh, off uh, is not it's fine see that is coming fine and then you can add but uh, we will add some more option because we just want to show back date not the uh, not the next one we will show just back date and uh, because date of birth is only in the past not in the future so we will search again uh, so that we can add only uh, the future date uh, so uh, so we can search here uh, like uh, uh, date picker previous dates only okay like this we can search and we can try the result here no, yeah next date okay next date zero okay we can put here next date zero in date picker we are going to update this bit that we have just added here we are going to uh, add this group we can add simply add like this yeah, okay so uh, we will see that what change it will bring okay let's see let's 
see now only past dates are coming but i want to select the uh, uh, means year as well okay so i want to select year uh, as well so for that i'm going to see the previous things uh, here here uh, see here change my change year this one also i want okay because without this uh, this date picker is not complete so you can do like this here okay so i'm going to add these two things here okay so that uh, so that uh, i can change year and month as well okay i'm going to refresh it now okay let's see and we'll see yeah now see now see year has come and month has also come okay that is perfect now but generally model let me change July I want to okay this is 2018 I will select 2017 then all the months have arrived but see still we are having the date picker of 10 years uh, we want to show more years of date picker so we search again okay we can search again here like jQuery uh, date picker only show 10 years okay so see we have we have the uh, for whatever date picker we want we can search in google and can get it very easily okay means you can do of your own you don't require any help you can google is the big help and you can get anything from google okay so simply uh, see here okay year range has come well, what i think we can add now year range okay fine fine okay so uh, after max date what we can do we can add year range as well okay see here okay we can add year range okay here we can add 2018 as the 2018 is the current year okay so i am going to add year range now and going to refresh again that it is working perfect or not and i'm going to see here now now it is fine 2018 yeah all the years are coming from 1950 we are means uh, 50 60 68 years old person can also add the dating profile okay so means uh, here we have added the date picker now you can select any date any past date you want like uh, you can add uh, if your uh, birth is like in uh, 1988 and uh, it's in uh, may and it's the uh, day is 11 then you can simply add it like this okay now it is seems to be perfect uh, now uh, your 5 11 1988 okay so uh, we are going to add this uh, date of birth like this and and uh, now uh, after adding all these scripts it is working perfectly okay so you have seen that how you need to add the date picker for dob field date of birth field now we are going to uh, add another field but uh you yeah. see uh, that we have added uh, date picker date picker for dob Field as per our requirement, requirement, and we have updated it as per our requirement. Okay, so now uh, we are going to add another field, and uh, okay, uh, now we will add another field as well. Field. Yeah, yeah, no. See, this one is done now. Third, uh, we are going to update step two dot. See, here. this is the third point, and this is the fourth point. Okay, and okay, so update step two dot delete dot PHP file again. Uh, now we will add. Uh, whatever gender gender we want to add and upper gender we want to add height height and, and my 
body type status fields as well. Okay. Now we are going to add this field as well. Okay. In step we are going to add the PHP file. So I am going to see again in step two dot b dot pc file. See here, and I am going to copy this one tr. Okay. So next field is our gender. Okay. Now we can add gender, and in gender, uh, yeah, we can uh, simply type uh, select that field will be there. Okay, so this one we can remove and I can write here simple select gender like this. Okay, so this one I'm going to close and here I'm going to add again the option will come here. Option select this and now we add another option here we will add here mail okay and we will add after that we will add female like this okay now we will see it's fine or not that is fine okay and uh, to match with this one uh, we can add style as well okay we can add some style here as well uh, we can increase these width and to bad in css uh, yeah now it seems to be a little bit better uh, but it is still too long i no need to make it so long i see it is uh, I think 100 up to 100 pixels is fine. Okay, like this. I think it is fine like this. And after gender, we will add another field. We can just, uh, copy and, and paste it here. And after gender, we are going to add height as well. Okay. Height and for height, we can copy from this website height field. And we can copy from here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can copy. Uh, it is, yeah, this one. Uh, we can complete. We can copy and we can paste here. And you can see, yeah, it's fine. Now, all this extra space uh, we can remove. Yeah, this one. So we can remove this extra space. So we can one step further. Uh, we can do some formatting uh, uh, in few minutes after adding. We will do formatting online. Okay. So we have added the height field as well, and we can check here if it is also oh, not here, but here. Yeah, it is fine. This one is also fine. And this is it's small size.
no it is fine and we can also use this uh, font size here uh, we don't have much idea but after copying i got this font size and font size we can also use there um, here it's one So multiple chips we have added and Okay, and 
uh, we are going to create uh, the table uh, with migration okay in migration command uh, we are going to create the table and you have seen uh, uh, the migration series as well uh, uh, from where we have created the table and uh, now we will repeat this step okay here as well okay so uh so next step is uh, we have added all these fields now step step is uh, create uh, user detail like uh, user detail details user details table okay uh, with migration migration okay now we will create user detail table with migration uh, in which we are going to add these extra column extra details of user like gender height okay marital status POB and marital status and much more uh, in uh, in uh, in coming videos. Uh, so uh, we are going to create uh, this migration and we are going to keep uh, uh, these columns and columns uh, we are going to add. See columns of user detail table we are going to add id will be there user id okay after that uh, dob then gender of that height and then marital score status okay then create that update that better right. like this okay uh, these columns we are going to create okay so uh, so we will uh, first run uh, below command to create uh, migration file for users detail table okay that uh, php artisan make migration like this and then create users detail underscore table like this okay so, This one we can use now. This one. See, this one file has been created. So I'm going to open this file, create the this one here now here we are going to add additional fields that we want to create like integer quality to ID and And then here, this. Then we can add height as well. 
Then we can add light also to both those. Okay, fine. And after that, the last one is if you touch the front itself. Okay. Now we need to run PHP addition migrate simply to create view for the for detail table. See the issues have come. Okay, see now uh, what we need to do with migration. See, uh, other files we don't require now, and now we can leave these files. Delete, you create user table, uh, create password. We can only keep this file. Okay, now we are going to run this one again. Okay, Let's see now what it is saying. It is saying this will already in this. User detail already exists. I think it created, and we are going to see now. Yes, it created. Yeah, fine. It is fine. Yeah, it has been created. Yeah, fine. Only thing you need to do, uh, you need to remove the earlier uh, files uh, when you create migration because otherwise that file will also run, and one of my friend uh, uh, have. Uh, uh, means in migration series uh, ask that why the issue is coming uh, create table with migration okay so uh, this is the uh, I have uh, to I have explained that how to create table with migration migration series you can follow and in this series I have told uh, means explain that why the issue is coming okay the issue is coming because uh, because uh, your migration already exists and you need to clear off the earlier migrations while you create new migration file you can clear off the earlier migration because otherwise it will come in your way again and again so you need to clear take care of that okay the, i'm going to see the next video here to update table innovation. Fine. So I mean uh, only thing we need to do if migration command does not work and if we have some error like uh, user table already exists, uh, we need to remove the other migration files that uh, that we have done earlier on and not required anymore so see here uh, user details table now we have created with migration and uh, now we are going to update uh, that uh, step two function okay uh, to add fields in the uh, in this uh, table uh, columns we need to fill up okay so in the last step okay uh, so uh, uh, now we have see in 
video so we able to create uh, users underscore details uh, table with migration migration okay and uh, now the last step we are going to take in this video uh, we are going to update uh, update step to function uh, now we will update step to function uh, in, in user controller to add uh, to add uh, to add the additional user details uh, to user details table okay so this is uh, the last step we are uh, going to do and we are going to update this one step 2 okay and here I am going to do uh, first we are going to check if method post which is method post request um, if method get post and now we can take here data oh, first we need to add here as well this first now we are going to add the additional detail we are going to first add the DOB column okay any value we can add okay so after Okay, you can add mean then height okay then uh, unmarried like this and we're going to submit see values are coming here now only thing we need to add these values in user detail table okay and for that uh, we're going to create model as well okay now uh, we are going to create model model we are going to create a user detail model create user detail model now like below model in this function so we are creating this model see what we have been creating yeah it created now well, we can use this model here as well that's why we have created this model and now what we can do we can use this user detail like this okay now here we can add like new then users detail here like this then we can pick all the user details that we are finding then the will be equal to data dob like this and like this we can also add another three one yeah. now we are sending gender Now we can save this with the detail. Save. Okay. 
So now we can check here. Uh, after add that, it, it is going to, oh yeah, user detail we need to add here. Okay. Remember this step. again We have missed gender. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have missed column. One column we have missed. Okay. This time we can add like this. Otherwise, we can have updater, update migration one, but, but we don't have time. So we can simply add from here as well. Uh, okay. So after DOB, we can add gender. Gender. Yeah. We can add like that. To find and save it. It's done. Now we can refresh again. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have not added the user ID field in this one, but uh, we need to add the user ID field also uh, so uh, that we need to send from that form okay that is also crucial step we need to add the user ID from here okay so I'm going I'm going back and we see and uh, here uh, we need to see the user ID which user ID it is and from that we are going to see in the control step two which uh, here we are going to see Okay, ID is six and this ID we are going to add to SP six ID so we can fetch this ID. First I'm going to fetch this ID here. Or we 
can uh, no need to do like this why we are doing like this no need to do uh, we uh, that will make the form insecure uh, this thing we can get there directly uh, yeah uh, why nothing is required nothing is required actually and this one here we are going to add this user id very simple now we're going to do user id like this and here we can pass it like this yeah very simple now i'm going to refresh we will see uh, uh see this is oh yeah but here now we can see oh finally uh, finally we're able to do uh, and see the result has come or not oh not come so far uh, we are going to try again and see this time we able to do this thing or not and uh, i'm going to try again any any fields i will add now i'm going to add submit now we will see yeah done finally we able to add the data in our user detail table with the user id as well and see now we have done this step uh, but uh, then uh, it will not appear this data uh, profile uh, means uh, after that we are going to show uh, the uh, means uh, after adding this dating profile some message will come that dating profile will be approved by the any panel i will show here after adding here the message will come dating profile going to approve it that is the different thing but we still need to add the more details more uh, user details like in this form we need to uh, add more details like this okay so we will add more uh, details or user details in this form and going to and here as well columns more columns and after that we we will work on the admin panel if any panel that the user will read if any panel and the admin is going to approve the user only then uh, he can able to use the other features of the dating website okay for now we have done a uh, few of the things uh, and we have done this date picker as well for the first time and this date picker you can also use in uh, our other other website as well like in ecom series you can be use this so you can always pick the good things from this video in between i have made lot of silly mistakes but uh, you have to ignore those mistakes and you have to pick the uh, steps uh, wonderful steps uh, means only few of the wonderful steps i can say but uh, more are mistakes but you need to Uh, see those few good steps okay uh, and uh, ignore bad mistakes by me and those few good stuff you need to take all the time and become a good programmer so i mean if all these things will help you uh, to make a good programmer so you can watch this video and and the uh, take the good steps like uh, adding the date picker you can also add the date picker there Uh, in ecom uh, website as well or any other website that you are making any time you can uh, you you want to use that uh, as per the client requirement so that's all for now and uh, have a nice time then okay bye goodbye